Hi, Chieftains, and welcome to this week's Chieftain Podcast. I'm Chatty Cathy, your host for the week. Now, let's get started. Starting off with a reminder about a couple of clubs. Culinary Club meets the second Tuesday of every month after school in room 405. And our Robotics Club takes place after school on Wednesdays in room 508. Yearbooks are now on sale for $30 at yearbookordercenter.com. So get one now before the price goes up. Now for some information on a couple of tryouts. Second semester tryouts for Varsity Cheer is on Thursday, December 7th. If you have any questions, email Coach Hurst. Track tryouts are November 30th and December 7th. All students who want to try out must attend one of these tryout dates. If you're in a winter sport, you need to email Coach Lusk to let him know that you plan on coming to track after the winter sport is over. Tryouts will be from 3.30 to 4.15 at the football field track. Email or stop by and see Mr. Lusk with any questions. Performance Theater will be hosting a dinner theater on November 28th. It will be held in the Woodlawn Theater at 6 p.m. Along these lines, Syncopation Jazz Choir will be performing a Coffee House concert on November 30th. Now it's time to recognize some phenomenal students who've received the honor of being named Student of the Month. For sophomores, we have Josh Ballinger and Peyton Leonard... Our juniors are Paige Bolesky and Doyle Champlain. And last, last but not least, seniors Marco Smith and Carlo Rosales. For our Fine Arts Students of the Month, we have Abigail Robinson and Emariah Scott. We also want to shout out Ashley Nazari for winning an All-Star Actor Award at the Regional One Act Contest. Now it's time to hear about some very insightful experiences from everyone's favorite, Dr. Cocktail. Hey, what's up, gamers? Me and my partner in crime over here are currently being held hostage in the copy machine room, so don't mind the screams. <clears throat> but it's been a while since you last heard my voice. Have you guys missed my charming attitude? On Tuesday and Wednesday, our sophomores, including myself, went on a mission to both Central Techs in the state. Now that they're back, here's some feedback that has been carefully handpicked and totally not biased at all. That sucked. I hated every part of it. I'd rather not go here. Why was it so boring? Ladies and gentlemen, the sophomores of Sepulpa High School. Yippee! Yesterday, we also had over two events in one singular day. When will the horror end? I am literally half asleep while writing this. Chatty Cathy, take the wheel. Take it from my hands. Thank you so much. For sports this week... We have some special fall athletes to recognize. With the volleyball, softball, and cross-country seasons coming to an end, conference awards have been passed out, and we were lucky enough to have a few athletes from each earn these prestigious honors. For volleyball, Tyla Hurd was named first team for the Frontier Valley Conference and named to the 5A All-State team. Jaylee Battles was awarded second team All-Conference, and Brooklyn Custer and Riley Stewart received honorable mentions. Congratulations to them. For softball, Elizabeth Trosper won 5A3 District Offensive Player of the Year. Oh my goodness, she just seems so cool. Anyway, Sage Adams won All-District Catcher for the District, and Abby O'Donnell, Anna Sutherland, and Jasmine Tate received honorable mentions. Great job. With our cross-country runners, Brian Sloan and Ryan Coleman received first-team all-conference honors. Also, Isaac Mesa received 5A All-State honors, and Destiny Miller placed top 30 at state nice job. And, oh no, it looks like there's a murder to report. The East Central football team was sadly slaughtered by the Chieftains last Friday, 56-13 to on senior night. With this win, Chieftains move on to the first round of playoffs. They play Claremore tonight at 7, and hopefully you sign up for the Spirit Bus, since there will be Chick-fil-A provided for dinner. The theme is neon. Good luck tonight. Also, our Ping Pings will be competing in the DTU Regionals at Broken Arrow on Saturday. With our fall sports wrapping up, that brings the start of winter sports. Girls basketball scrimmaged on Tuesday, and boys basketball had one on Wednesday. Wrestling competes tomorrow, as our wrestlers will be at the Broken Arrow Open starting at 10 a.m. Well, it seems like fall is coming to an end. You know what that means. Santa Claus is coming to town. So what, the Halloween was just a week or two ago. It's time to get into that holly jolly season. Lights on Sepulpa will take place on November 16th. And there, all of the sparkly lights in the town will be flipped on. And this year's fantastic Christmas shoot will be unveiled. 
this is a community event, so feel free to come watch if you just want to support the community or if you're really into the Christmas spirit. But we can't skip over Thanksgiving just yet. Thanksgiving break is incredibly important because, of course, everyone wants a week off of school where you can just relax and eat. So hold off on your hallmark for a little bit. It starts in five days. That's right, only five days to power through until you get a full week for yourselves. Then comes winter finals, but we're not going to talk about that. Well, thanks for tuning in this week. Keep your grades up, be nice to people, share this podcast with all your friends and family, and we'll see you next time.